Okay, so I guess I should probably make a video to show you guys how a PSK reporter works. So it's a setting in FT8 or other things. Um, so normally you go into here, click settings, and then it would be under reporting. And you will enable PSK reporter spotting. Um, and then just click OK. And then, once you've done that, you will go to pskreporter.info forward slash pskmap.html. And their main website, if you were to look it up, wouldn't look like this. Uh, let's see, you type in PSK, PSK reporter. Um, there's, the, they have different things. I'm trying to go to their main thing. Um, so if you click on the wrong one, you'll end up with this page. And it just kind of explains a little bit of it. But what you want to do is you want the map display. And you click that link, and it will take you to this map. And you can custom tailor some of your settings. Right now, if you see this color, this color means I'm on 160 meters. You can see right here, the legend shows you the color. It shows you how many people are supposedly active on there, on each band. We see we have uh, 1,295 on 40. Um, these, a lot of these stations, these are all monitors, uh, usually, uh, because I'm not making any calls, or these people have went to bed and left their radio on. But what you do is you pick all bands, or the band of interest that you have, um, signals usually I don't know what countries would be sent and received by and then I put my call signs so these are signals that have been received by my call sign or sent by my call sign in this case these stations have received my call sign because nobody else is on here transmitting and I have it set to where it's only 15 minutes but see you know watch if I go 24 hours let me zoom out so you can really get the full effect of this. Click 24 hours. Boom. This is what I've been up to in the last 24 hours. And all these different colors are all different bands. But see, once you look at it like that, now you're looking at so much crap that it just makes it extremely difficult. So I just leave mine set to 15 minutes. And that way I know kind of, I zoom in, to figure out which way is the band propagating, what kind of conditions I have. And also, you can click on a specific thing here. It will show me who is this person that's receiving me, what software are they using. So in the case of BE6JY in Alberta, they're using, um, it usually will say, Kiwi, it's a Kiwi SDR. So that's not even a station that can communicate with me. It's a Kiwi. Okay. And what's this one? Um, WSJTX. Okay. WSJTX. So um, we can see what they're using. They could be using different software. Um, they might be, you know, an SDR. But most of these, and then we also will get these other little things on the map, like these L-shaped things. So there's also display options here. I have clicked hide faint monitors, hide monitors, hide the pink blob. There, there's a couple of things in here you might not want on here, but let's just uncheck those. I'll show you what it looks like with them unchecked. So now we're going to have all these monitors. These are actual monitors. Um, and I am not really fully aware of how to take advantage of that. But I guess these are just like all the monitors that are actually on. And you can find out what they are. This shows you. It's a monitor. Um... But anyway, I don't want to see those, so I click hide those. And the pink blob uh, is kind of this propagation thing. 
and I don't think we will probably see it on here, but it shows kind of like where the signal is going. It's strange. Um, and I think it only shows up during daylight hours. So this is really cool. You can test out an antenna. You can find out how well it works by doing this. And we just made a contact while I was sitting here blabbering. Um, this band has been really, really strange. Um, really, really kind of difficult. So, um, I'm going here and log my contact. But that propagation tool there is really good. Even if you're not into FT8, okay, you can do uh, Whisper and other forms of things. You can do PSK. You know, it'll it'll track all those. So, um, looks like I got a contact in Tucson, which is not real far, but hey, we'll take it. Maybe he'll confirm so that I can move on up the band. Because what I'm doing is I'm working the bands on FT8. Okay, perfect. For um, the 12 days of QRZ, I want to get every band confirmed. Anyway, that's neither here nor there about what uh, the rest of the stuff is. So, okay, so I wanted to show you one other thing. Um, let's see, there is a all mode, so if you don't want, if you're like doing multiple things, or you only want to see specific, we have FT8, we got CW, we got, uh, all these other ones, uh, Whisper, PSK, FSK, I mean, Olivia, so, I just have all modes selected, so... It's a very powerful propagation tool because you can see, like, I'm right here. Here's 160 meters. Look at my radiation pattern. I'm not hitting anything over here, but I'm all over the place. So, and you can you get a better idea of how, like, if you're new and you don't understand how the bands work or, you know, how 10 meters works or how 80 meters, like 80 meters you would see, it'll just completely blanket a certain area. Whereas 10 will go hop way the hell over here and you can't get anything five states over. So it's a, it's a really great tool to use. So um, if you're going to be doing FT8, definitely recommend using this. Thanks for watching.